Okay, so this is gonna be our lesson for um, area, okay? Chapter 19, it says area and perimeter. Uh, we're on page 215. <clears throat> um, so this is gonna cover uh, Wednesday's lesson, math lesson, and Thursday's math lesson. So for those of you who um, missed your Zoom sessions yesterday, um, we went over um, page 215 and 216. So for 215, it simply wants you to draw and color two different figures. Um, it wants you to use two whole square, uh, I'm sorry, f uh, four whole squares and two half squares, okay? So, you could draw any figure you want. It doesn't have to be a uh, even figure. So I'm gonna draw something like that looks like this. I'm gonna do my whole squares first. Okay. Like that. So that's four whole squares. Four little squares that make a bigger square. I'm gonna shade it in. Okay, there's my four whole squares, right? Now for my half squares, I'm gonna draw one up here. Okay, and I'm gonna draw another one right here. Okay, so that's my shape, okay? I drew, I used two half squares and four full squares. Okay, like it asked me. Then you just have to draw another one that looks something different, okay? Using the same amount of squares, okay? So let's do this. So again, I used four whole squares. It's a different shape. Now I'm gonna use two half squares. Okay. Four whole squares again, two half squares, but they're two different shapes, right? So those are just examples. You guys could draw whatever shapes you want, as long as you're using the four squares and the two half squares that it's asking for, okay? So for page 216, it already drew the shapes for you, okay? At the top, what it wants you to do is find out the area of the figure on the bottom. So for figure A, let's count up how many tiles it takes up, how many squares. One, two, three, four, five whole squares, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven. So I would write seven, okay, square units for A, okay? And then you would repeat the same process for all the other ones. You would count up all the squares and half squares, okay? And then for number three, there's two of two of the figures have the same area and you have to figure out which ones they are, okay? And then you just label them whichever one they are, okay? So figure blank and figure blank have the same area. And then which one out of all of these shapes, A through F, has the largest area, okay? Now for uh, today's lesson, <clears throat> on page 217, it says, draw two different figures with the same area on the grid, okay? So two different figures with the same area. Okay, so let's keep this simple. I'm gonna draw two different figures 
but with the same area, okay? Meaning the same number of squares. Okay, so there's one, two, three. So I would label that three square uh, units and one, two, three. Another three square units, two different shapes, but the same area, okay? You could do it with four tiles. You could do it with six tiles, as long as they're the same area, okay? And they're two different shapes. For number six, it says to add squares or half squares to each figure to make its area of seven square units. So let's take a look at this first uh, shape that looks like a house. We have one, two, two and a half, three. So we have three square units and it wants us to make a total of seven square units. So let's go ahead and fill in these half units, okay? So we have one, two, three, four. We'll have four all together, okay? Okay, so now we have four square units. Let's do five, six. Another two units, that's making it six. And seven up here. Okay. Doesn't have to be an equal equal tri uh, triangle or rectangle or anything like that. It just has to equal uh, seven square units. So we started out with two, um, two point five, three. So we started out with three square units, and it needed we needed to get to seven. So I added another square unit that gave us four, five, six, seven. Okay, and that's my seven square unit. Let's count this one up. One, two, three, four, five, five and a half, six. So we only have to add one square unit. So let's just add a half here and a half here. And that'll make, give us our seven square units, okay? Okay, so all we have to do is add two half square units to that figure to get seven, okay? For 218, it says cut out the, com cut out the triangles, tiles, okay, all the way at the bottom. Use all the tiles to make three different figures with three different areas. Glue them into the spaces below. Okay, we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You have twelve triangles tiles to work with, okay? So it's uh, up to you to make uh, three different figures with three different areas, okay? So before you start gluing, make sure you place them and you count them and make sure there's three different um, uh, figures, different uh, shapes with three different amounts of uh, square units, okay? And then eight through 10, eight, nine, and 10 asks which has figure has the smallest area, which has the largest area, and then order the figures from smallest to greatest, okay? Based on uh, area, okay? Um, if you guys have any questions or you're, you're struggling with that, um, let me know and I could walk you through it. But I want you guys to try to do this on your, your own. You're going to cut these out and arrange them. Uh, like I said, before you glue them down, make sure you have, you know, three different shapes with three different areas. One should be the biggest and one should be the smallest. And then obviously one's going to be in the middle. Okay, so it's kind of the same thing you, we, we just did. I kind of went through, except you're just using your own shapes, okay? You're using the tiles they gave you, okay? And cutting them out. And that's it, okay? 
thanks for watching and uh i'll have another video for you tomorrow and we'll talk more about it uh during our zoom sessions okay thanks